Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I'm going to start reviewing a line of Louisiana style hot sauces uh, from a company that has got a really interesting story that goes all the way back to 1895. And these are from the Red Snapper Sauce Company. Just check out that label. I mean, these really look cool. Uh, very old style uh, label with that Red Snapper. And I believe this was pretty much, uh, it's changed a little bit, but pretty much like the original label uh, from the Red Snapper Sauce Company. And it says, a fine relish for meats, oysters, fish, soups, etc. Originally manufactured in 1895 by the Red Snapper Sauce Company, Port Hudson, Louisiana. Now what really makes this um, sauce uh, interesting is that um, once again, it was handcrafted hot sauce since 1895. It says Red Snapper Sauce is a Louisiana style hot sauce originally manufactured and sold by Harris McVie. And you can see him right there on the bottle. Uh, originally starting in 18, uh, throughout Louisiana starting in 1895. After his disappearance, it remained a tightly held family secret and has been enjoyed by six generations of families and friends. Today, Red Snapper sauces are handcrafted by McVie descendants in Orem, Utah, using Harris's original Red Snapper, Snapper sauce recipe. Uh, these are gluten-free, contain no chemicals or preservatives, and use locally grown peppers. Now, these were sent to me uh, from the owner, Kirsten Saugun. And I uh, really appreciate you sending me the sauces, uh, Kirsten, to review. Now, they do have three. I'm going to start off with the, uh, the Cajun Snapper. Uh, this is their hot one. And uh, this is made with locally grown fresh uh, super chili cayennes is what uh, Kirsten was telling me. They also have a couple of medium sauces, a Wildwood Arbol that's uh, made with uh, dried chili to Arbol peppers that are reconstituted and then juiced. And they also have the Savaro, uh, which is another medium. I believe that's French, probably uh, butchered the pronunci pronunciation, but that means delicious. That's another medium that does use uh, cayenne peppers, slim and fat cayenne peppers. So really looking forward to getting into this. Uh, let me go ahead and read this a little uh, additional story here on the side. It says, Harris originally developed this fine pepper sauce prior to 1895 at Wildwood Plantation near Port Hudson, Louisiana. For some years following, it was widely distributed throughout the state. Sometime after 1912, he vanished, leaving his badly troubled marriage, thriving business, and Louisiana, never to be heard from again. Six generations of McVees have preserved his secret recipe. We are proud to share our legacy with Harris with you. All right, well, let's go ahead. Once again, it says gluten-free, no additives or preservatives. Shake well, refrigerate after opening, and the product naturally darkens with age. Now, the ingredients on this, uh, we start off with chili peppers, vinegar, sugar, onion, iodized salt, spices, and garlic. All right, well, let's get into this. Let me get my knife here and check this out. It's got a nice consistency on it. It's not real, real thin like some Louisiana style sauces, but it's got a nice, rich, deep red color to it. I'm going to go ahead and take off this uh, flow restrictor so we can get to it. Good. And let's check out the aroma. Mmm. Wow, that's got a beautiful aroma to it. You can smell the cayennes. It doesn't have that sharp vinegary uh, taste to it. Um, it's, it really kind of, right off the bat, it reminds me of a cocktail sauce. You ever smelt a, um, a uh, shrimp cocktail sauce, you know, the red cocktail sauce? Because I, uh, I believe it's a little bit of sweetness coming from the sugar. Combined with those spices, but it's got a really good aroma on it. Let's, here we go. Beautiful color. I love the consistency. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm. Wow. That 
is good. Very unique. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I didn't read the sodium, um, but I thought it was going to be really salty because it's got 170 milligrams of sodium, but it's not. But this, this has a bite to it, but it's just got a very unique flavor for a Louisiana style hot sauce. It's slightly sweet because of the sugar, um, but I kind of like that. Um, it's something different, something unique. I don't think it's overly sweet, but it has got a bite, and the cayenne peppers are really coming through. Beautiful aroma on this. Um, you can taste the garlic a little bit. You can taste the onions, and it's got some good spices in there that are giving this a real nice peppery uh, taste. Uh, it says hot. And uh, it is hot. This is a hot sauce. And um, this is a Cajun style red snapper hot sauce. So I thought this would be good on some Cajun food. So I've got some shrimp and sausage jambalaya. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to shake this right on this here. So this is the way I like to do it. All right. Boy, this stuff has got some great flavor. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah. Let me get another bite. Ooh, this is good. Mmm. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Mmm. Wow. Uh, very, very good. Um, I like this a lot. Actually, I love it. Um, I'm going to give this a strong 9 out of 10 for flavor. Very well done. I like this a lot. Um, something different. I like the added sweetness to it. It's not overly done. It just sets it apart from any other Louisiana style hot sauce that I've tried. Very spicy, very rich. It's not vinegary. And on heat, I'm going to have to put it in a medium. Um, it's, I would have to give it a strong 5 out of 10 for, uh, for heat on their hot one, on my 1 to 10 scale. And um, so it is definitely a hot, hot sauce for their average Joe, somebody who's not used to eating a lot of hot stuff. This is, this is really hot. Much hotter than Tabasco, a lot hotter than any of those other store-bought Louisiana-style hot sauces. Uh, this will light you up. But great flavor. Just love the detail of the labels. Just great job on this, uh, Kirsten. Really great job. So I'm looking forward to trying the other two. But this is highly recommended, everybody. Red Snapper Sauce. Uh, you can find them on Facebook. And the website is simply redsnappersauce.com. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for sending it, Kirsten. I look forward to reviewing the other ones. Stay tuned, everybody, for those reviews. And until next time, don't forget, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.